So the winners are, if the India-Middle East-Europe Economic Corridor project becomes a reality, it will create a change in the current status quo of trade routes between the East and West using the Suez Canal and it will make Israel and India the big beneficiaries. And it looks like they have been planning this project for a while. In January this year, a consortium led by India's second richest man completed the purchase of Haifa port, reviving hopes of creating a trade gateway connecting the terminal and the broader Middle East, including Saudi Arabia, which does not have ties with Israel. A smiling Netanyahu praised the $1.2 billion deal and said he hoped it would usher in more connectivity between our countries. The bid was 55% higher than the second highest bid. This was not just a purchase, it was a statement of intent. The deal, one of the biggest foreign investments by India in any Israeli sector, saw India's consortium acquire a 70% stake of the now privatized Haifa port, while Israel kept the remaining 30%. After the acquisition of the Haifa port, Israel's second largest port, by consortium